All right, boys and girls, we are going to be making a flower inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. So you should have a nice big white paper in front of you, 12 by 18 white paper. We're gonna start by dividing it in half lengthways and in half vertically. Turning my paper so I can write, I am going to create a giant number three. Notice how it's filling almost the whole space inside of there. I can create another one in this section. Turn it around and do them in the last two sections. So all four sections have done the same thing, giant number threes. Then when I turn my paper the right way, back to a landscape direction, I am going to connect those threes with a smile. And notice how I'm filling most of that rectangular space. All right, so now I have four, they kind of look like hearts. They're actually going to become our flower petals. Once I've drawn them, my next step is to paint them. And I am working with this magenta color. So we are going to paint all four of them. And then when they are dry, we will move on to our next step. So this is all you will be able to get through in our first day of this lesson. Welcome back. My flower petals are dry and ready to go for part two to finish these up. So a good tip is cutting on these lines to give ourselves smaller sections. This is going to make it easier to cut out our flower petals. And then we're going to come in and cut these all out. All right, so now I have all of my pieces cut out, so I should have my four hearts or flower petals as they're going to turn into. And before I glue them down, I like to kind of manipulate them on my green paper and plan out the way I want them to combine and connect. So I kind of like them like this. So you see how it goes over, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, kind of creating that pattern. That's how I like mine. And I'm gonna work on gluing them down. And I like to work one at a time so that I can kind of get them in there and make sure I'm still happy with them.
Notice I didn't glue this end down because I'm going to need to tuck a petal section underneath on that side. So now I can press this down, really work on pressing them, add more glue if I need to, to get them to stay in place. From here, I'm going to work with a black marker or a black crayon, and I'm going to create the center of my flower. And so Georgia O'Keeffe liked to do a lot with these different pansies, um, and they had black centers, and they just kind of had this organic, free-flowing kind of a shape. So I'm going to draw it, and I'm just going to color it in right on top. Making the center of that flower. I know it seems kind of strange to use black, but those flowers really did have black in the center. to add a few dots coming out as well. Okay, the final step, you can add some leaves for your flower. You can do this with a green crayon or marker or colored pencil. You could do it with a blue crayon marker or colored pencil. But I just like to come in and create some leaves on either side. And I'm not even going to worry about coloring them in. With this, we are all done with our Georgia O'Keeffe inspired flowers. I hope you had fun making these.